For our next project, we're going to use the same tools but in a different way in a new application. We're going to make a timer. Open up timer00.py. We're going to use the time package again. This time, we're going to reword how we import the sleep function. Instead of import time, we're going to say from time import sleep. So this says from the time package import the sleep function. Then when we use it, we don't have to write time.sleep, we can just write sleep. In the rest of this five line program, we create a variable, seconds left equals 15. So we're going to make a timer for 15 seconds. And then sleep seconds left. So we're going to sleep for 15 seconds. And then when we're done, we'll have the program print to the console the string ding, the four characters D-I-N-G. So we'll get a visual sign that our timer has finished its 15 second run. When we run it, it will sit for a while and look like nothing's happening. The cursor, in this case on mine, just sits there and flashes. And then after 15 seconds, we get a ding. Boom, 15 second timer. So here, we haven't really done anything new. We've just taken things that we already knew and rearranged them a little bit to achieve a different goal.